So this could be maybe one-year-old, two-year-old skid, I don't know. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch King to a mind-blowing video today. We have a special video for you guys and you've never seen stuff like this before on the internet. So today we have a guest from Bar, Switzerland. He's known on TikTok as Small Turns Big, the biggest TikTok account in Switzerland for, you know, content like this. Almost 1 million subscribers now and also has a YouTube and Instagram platform. So Pierre, welcome to the channel and I can't wait to show these guys what you have prepared for them. Thank you very much, Marco, to have me on your show also. And I'm also very excited to see a lot of watches here today. I've never seen these watches before, <laughs> so let's see what, what's going to happen. Perfect. Be ready to see some things you never saw before, because when we go this close, you know, usually the watchmaker's loop is around 2.5 times magnification. Okay, that's nothing compared to the one <laughs> we'll see today. So Pierre, what's your fascination with microscopes and how many views do you get on TikTok? Well, I've been in the microscopy business now for five and a half years. So I uh, have some knowledge about it, but I was always fascinated to post some content and TikTok is the perfect platform for this. That's why I chose yeah. it because it's very short form and interactive with the audience. And um, yeah, I've been doing this for one and a half years now and probably now about 15 million views per month. Wow. And I know you feature stuff usually from every day, like uh, paper, hands, um, leaves, uh, yeah. different objects. So I think before we start going to the watches, let's maybe show the audience how my skin looks from, you know, uh, of with course. the microscope. But, you know, be ready, it's not a nice view. Let's see if you have been doing a good manicure, pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you see? Yeah, disgusting. <laughs> if I zoom up a bit more, so we can see the hair root. This is now about 200 magnification. So imagine the watch dials under this. Huh? Let, let's get into it. There we go. So this is a watch that's around 100 years old. So you know, it has a porcelain dial and I think the logo still looks kind of okay. It has its wear and tear, of course. For 100 years, actually, <laughs> yeah, it's not bad keeping up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's maybe take a look at the luminous material. I think back in the days they used the radium, which was uh, still is poisonous. So I'm really curious to see how this looks up, you know, up close. So there we go. <laughs> Damn. You can actually see how the material is splitting and is, you know, basically is gonna fall apart essentially. I could bet how long will it last? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this has lasted for 100 years, so I think it's gonna... For a 100 year old watch, the manufacturing is quite good. I'm pretty impressed. You're actually right. So the next watch we have is a bronze case and the dial is actually made from meteorite. It's a Zillow's Hammerhead, which I've had in my collection for a while now. This dial actually comes from a meteorite that uh, fell onto the earth about 1 million years ago in Sweden. Came a long way just to come into a watch. Exactly. You can see the, the texture. Huh? Cool, yeah, looks this like is a, looks like a landscape. 170 magnification. Wow. Now. Slightly more than with a normal watchmaker's loop. <laughs> a few hundred percent more, yes. This is now the hour hand, yes. Yes. Really cool. You can see how it's, it's like brushed and the middle part, which is white, is actually super luminova. For how yeah. close we are, the manufacturing is really great. This is something you don't see by just a naked eye. So yes, you course. will need a really high magnification of microscope course, yeah. to, to see very details or defects, which is almost a bit normal. No normal collector would look at it like yeah, that anyway. Yeah. So this is the Hublot Singapore Watch Club edition, which I got, uh, I think, last year. This has a linen dial, which is woven. Up close, it's amazing. I'm used to looking at clothes, but uh, it's really nice to see this in a watch. Let's compare it with, uh, with my shirt here. Yeah, good idea. Very clean woven. Yes. And a bit more tight, huh? Yeah, maybe. more tight and also more narrower strings, let's say. But I think the whole idea of this watch is the texture. You want the texture and the unevenness and the, and the contrast in the linen, right? Yes, exactly. And, th and this one, so your shirt is white. This linen dial is a bit more beige cream colored. Yeah. And you can really see the different, you know, color tones here as well. Can you go even closer on the dial? Sure. I just like the fact that it's in a watch. Yes, yes. You <laughs> wouldn't expect look, this. Huh? No, never. Let's also do a zoom here and go a bit higher to 160. Oh, damn. Magnification. Nice. This is just a few, few uh, micrometers, so less than a <laughs> millimeter. Yeah. Looks awesome, looks awesome. 
Let's go to the next watch, Peace Unique Konstantin Chaiki Joker watch, where the dial is made out of uh, you know a few different components. So you see this part we zoomed in now is actually applied on the main dial, which is made out of brass. So this is a close-up of the green ring around the dial. Actually, nail polish also looks like this up close. Yeah. You wouldn't guess, yeah. yes. <laughs> it's like little uh, colored flakes. Like sparkly dust, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. nice. Sure. The tongue, the teeth and the gray part. Three different layers here and different levels. Let me, let me zoom in also here a bit. Oh, perfect. That's uh, close. <laughs> Again, the, the quality up close like this. You've really never good, seen huh? it this, no, this high. No, never, never. No scratches, so nothing cool. huh, so far. No, really, it looks really good. good. Look, looks very good, yeah. So as I said, this is a piece unique watch pair. So let's take a look at the engraving on the back side of it. But I wore this watch a lot, so it might be scratched or maybe you know some other particles <laughs> flying around there. What's the magnification here? Uh, this is not 100 magnification. Yeah. So guys, you can see some particles here as well. Huh? So there's some brown dirt here, whatever that is. From, from my experience, um, yeah, you, you constantly shed skin everywhere yeah. where you go. So uh, so this could be maybe one year old, two year old skin, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to know actually. <laughs> it's it's okay. a different world, it's a different world. <laughs> Let's uh, jump to the next one. It's the most industrial watch we have here. It's the Tudor GMT. So I'm really curious to see what the quality will be on this one. This okay. is cool. There we go. Again, uh, for being this up close, the quality I think is really well made. But yeah, so this is one of the highest magnification we're using now. This is 220 <laughs> uh, zoom. So it's like 80 times more than a normal loop. Uh. <laughs> yeah. And again, I, I don't see many imperfections here. Tudor, well done. Uh. Quite clean. Quite clean. Uh. And now the <laughs> second hand is sneaking in again. Cool. So what's the magnification now? Now it's uh, 110. Yeah, this is... Uh, Really Swiss made, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> the Ming watch has a very special dial and it has this beautiful copper tone. So let's take a look at that. This is actually the Ming 1706 model, which won the GPAG award for the revelation price in 2019. This is now 80 magnification. 80. Yeah. So all the dials so far had a different magnification, right? Why yeah. is that? Because it depends how uh, the microscope works. So this one has like a polarization filter, mm -hmm. which I can deactivate now or activate again. And how the microscope works, there's like different um, zoom. Depends on what working distance you have. Uh, so how far your sample is, you have to zoom and focus at the same time. So yeah. Gotcha. And now we're on 100 or 160 magnification. Wow. <laughs> And let's use this attachment again to get the perfect shot. So this was more difficult because below the applied, you know, hour and oh. the logo, you have a little piece of glass. Yeah. So that's why you have a slightly more reflection, but it's still really good. Yeah, and the, this, there's totally two different textures also. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This style. Even this close, the quality is good. Yeah. And oh. now we are at how much magnification? 220, almost <laughs> around there. So really cool. So the next watch I'm super curious to see is my Jacob & Co Epic X. It's a skeleton watch. How do you like this watch? It actually has no dial as opposed to the other ones. Yeah, I always think these are quite nice to look at because you see the real Swiss manufacturing behind it, I would say. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But I like the mechanics and to see how everything works. Uh, it's so, one of my favorites. One of my favorites as well. So the gray area is actually micro bead blasted and the Jacob logo is a laser engraved. Yeah, you can see that, that it's laser because the laser gives these grooves like um, the surface that is quite uh, rough, let's say. Can we zoom in on the this part below? It's perlage decoration. Damn, you can really yeah. see all the circles, huh? So this is really intentional that it's like these circles? Yes, yes. This is a type oh. of decoration yeah. that is often found uh, below the balance wheel. But yes, okay. this is made with a machine. You put the, the case or the component underneath and then just press on it. Yeah. Like, oh, like, a, little, okay. like a little drill, maybe. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's now take a look at the escapement of this watch. So this is very high speed. And the microscope doesn't have like 100 frames per second. So that's mm -hmm. why you see a ghost image. Gotcha. But you can see how the you know the movement works, and you know the synthetic rubies really give out a nice color. Yeah, especially with the backlight, it's really nice to see. Yeah, yeah. See it in detail. That's 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 the uh, the beauty of a skeletonized watch. You see through <laughs> it. 
yeah. which is always nice to take a look at. It's cool to see how everything is made from up close because again, you know, you appreciate watches I think a bit more when you see all the edges and the little components they have to produce. How close are we now? So now it's a 170 magnification. Damn. And uh, yeah, it's this, like I said, it's a whole world which you cannot see with the eyes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this magnification range. So you see a lot of small particles and things that, yeah, it's just quite difficult to see with a normal uh, loop. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so the last watch we're going to look at is one of the most popular watches in the world is the Ole Martigui Royal Oak. Oh, yeah. So the Grand Tapisserie Dal is actually made with a Buren and a pantograph. And you can see actually all the lines and, you know, circle finish on the wow. little squares. But this one's not lasered, right? Because it no. looks like uh, almost lasered in the, in the bottom part. Can we go slightly closer to this or sure. is this the max? Ah, oh, you Let's gotta take, take off the cap again, right? Exactly. You're becoming a microscope specialist <laughs> and I'm becoming a watch specialist. Exactly. We'll just trade <laughs> channels, that's it. It's wow, a, this oh. is really cool. Huh? I really like the, the lines and then the lines stand out. Yes, and they connect, huh? if you see. Oh, so one okay. square connects to the other one. They go in a circle, like the Burin works. Okay. <laughs> so this is now the AP logo, which is applied. You can see it's the so the darker parts now, which uh, are polished, and the middle is looks like it's kind of grained. Again, never saw it up close like this. Yeah, it's it's like also mirror finish. I don't know. Yes, it's yes. very very reflect reflective. It is. It is. How how close are we now? This one is uh, 120 now. Do the Audemars Piquet logos always look like this? I hope so. <laughs> but, but I mean, yeah, like uh, the AP, are they always yes, like yes. The together AP, like this? Yes, exactly, they are, they are. Okay. But the quality, I hope all of them have they have the same one. <laughs> they also Hopefully. make a lot of watches per year, so I think this is uh, really great that they achieve this high level of finishing. So on the back side, you have the AP logo as well. I'm really oh, curious yeah. to see how this looks under the microscope. Okay, here we're on the A now. Wow. Damn, that's close. Uh, this one's uh, almost 200. Wow. The bracelet is basically vertically brushed and the AP logo looks like it's horizontally mm. laser mm. engraved. Huh? Mm. Like you said, you have this, it's a typical laser yeah, engraving. Yeah, exactly. And probably some skin particles as well. <laughs> huh? <laughs> this one you cannot avoid. <laughs> it's not airtight. <laughs> wow, so this is now a gold rotor. And these are the Audemars Piguet family crests on the side of it. Oh. Really cool. I never saw it up close <laughs> like this. There's so much detail in watches. Yeah. Even the background, you see all these like sand particles. The size of this little horse head is... <laughs> I don't even know how big it is. This is probably just 0 0.5 millimeters. <laughs> so 500 uh, micrometer. Yeah. So the eye of the horse is even... Yeah, yeah. probably what? <laughs> 50. Jesus. 50 uh, micrometer, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put this You're one because on I'm missing a watch right now. <laughs> Which one was your favorite or what was the most interesting part? Well, that's this? very hard to say. Yeah. All, all, all of the watches have their unique uh, pieces and structures and technical background, but I like the Hublot also. Yeah. Just because of the linen, it's, yes. somehow it stands out a bit. And I also liked how we uh, compared the dial of the watch with your shirt. Super cool to see yeah, yeah. that it's actual linen. It's not a, you know, painted or yeah. whatever. So really cool. So guys, check out Pierre's accounts on TikTok. He's got the weirdest stuff there, uh, but it's really uh, entertaining to watch. And also he started, you know, being more active on Instagram and YouTube. I'm going to link all the platforms in the description down below. And also you can check out more about the microscope on your website, correct? Sure, if you want to learn more about the microscope itself, just visit smallturnsbig.com. So guys, this was our first microscope session of the channel. If you like it, again, leave a comment down below, like this video and subscribe and share with somebody who you might think would be interested in a video like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.